Hey, what's up guys? It's Jordan. I'm going to be setting up the ITC 308 green Inkbird for temperature control. If you're looking to do humidity control, you're going to want to get the IHC 200 and it's going to be blue, not green. So the instructions are in here uh, as to how to operate it, but I'm going to show you what I got going on. I got mine on the wall here and it's uh, currently cooling down to 36 degrees, which is the target temperature. Uh, if you want to set, this is uh, the temperature that it is right now where the probe is. If you want to set up, you got to hold the set button until you get into the set menu. And this is the target temperature. If you set that to anything to save it, you hold that set button for three seconds. This is the heating differential, two degrees. That's what I got set. And the cooling differential is two degrees. I've got it set uh, for an alarm go to go off at 70 degrees and an alarm to go off if it hits negative 40 degrees. This is because I don't want the alarm to be going off. Uh, this is the um, compressor delay. So if your compressor is going off quite often, you might want to set a delay for like five to 10 minutes. On this chest freezer, I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like that'll be a, a big deal. Um, it can save the life of your compressor if it's running too often. But uh, this is the temperature calibration that I haven't had to worry about. Uh, this is the Celsius and Fahrenheit setting. So if you like viewing your temperatures in Celsius, you change that. And that's about it. So to get out of the menu, you just hold that for three seconds and it'll go right back to the home. And it'll show you the current temperature in your target. Uh, I got my chest freezer plugged into the cooling portion of the, the outlet here and on the inside I've got the probe running through the back and I've got the probe wrapped around the mason jar here so that it gets an accurate temperature reading. Um, if you set your temperature differential to let's say one degree your compressor is going to be turning on whenever your temperature goes one degree outside of the range. If it's gonna, if it goes below your set temperature, your compressor is not going to run. It'll be turned off so that the temperature will rise back to the target. But uh, hope this helps. It's pretty self-explanatory there if you read the manual, but I figured I'd show you guys because it definitely was useful for me to look over a video with the humidistat when I set that up. Uh, take care, hope y'all are doing all right.